Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on fear of God. Hebrew 12, 28 and 29 urge us that we be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence for our God is a consuming fire. Today in our modern Christianity, we like to have a God who is comfortable and friendly with us. We like our God to be loving, gracious, merciful, forgiving, tender and gentle. But the God mentioned in the Bible is also holy and righteous, the one to be feared. The fear of God is holy fear enabling men to reverence God's authority, obey his commandments and hate and shun all forms of evil. Our Bible talks about his holiness that expects purity in us and his justice that convicts us. The fear of God is an awesome respect or reverence growing out of an understanding of the greatness of God. Fear of God comes from the knowledge of our own sinfulness and the sense of the presence of God. In Proverbs 8.13 we are told that to fear the Lord is to hate evil. Genuine fear of the Lord is always seen in obedience to the word of God. Fear of God helps us to acquire true wisdom. In Proverbs 1 7 we read that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we live in the fear of God, we have the true wisdom. James 3 17 mentions about the wisdom that comes from heaven, which is pure, peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Fear of God helps us to live a holy and blameless life. In Proverbs 16, 6, we read that by the fear of the Lord, men departs from evil. Fear of God helps us to hate evil and stimulates us to seek holiness. Fear of God leads to divine protection and long life. From Proverbs 10, 27, we understand that the fear of the Lord prolongs life and in Psalm 34, 7, we read that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescue them. In the Old Testament, true spirituality is often regarded as synonymous with the fear of God. In the New Testament, we are being encouraged to walk in the fear of God. Hebrew 11, 7 says that, in holy fear, Noah built an ark to save his family. Genesis 22, 12 talks about Abraham fearing God made a decision to sacrifice Isaac. In Genesis 42, 18, we read about Joseph confessing his fear for God in front of his siblings. Job 1.8 conveys how God acknowledges the fear of God Job had. In Acts 9.31, we are told that the early Christians lived in the fear of God. The people who sought God and walked with God lived in the fear of God. The conclusion of the book of Ecclesiastes is that we fear God and keep his commandments for this is the duty of all mankind. God expects us to fear him. In Deuteronomy 5.29, the Lord exclaims, Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commandments. We are commanded to fear God. Deuteronomy 10.12 questions. What does the Lord require of you but to fear the Lord your God? The genuineness of our Christian life is marked by how well we fear God in our daily life. May God enable us to fear God and live a life pleasing Him. Thank you for listening. May God bless you.